Russia has been obliterating Ukrainian towns from the air. Now troops have been seen opening fire on peaceful protesters on the ground. The West believes Vladimir Putin's brutal advance is slowing, but it's feared an approaching stalemate may push him down a more dangerous path. Russian reconnaissance in the sky. Pictures it claims show Ukraine's military reloading missiles at a shopping centre turned weapons depot. Allegations it used to strike with precision. And the impact is horrifying. An apocalyptic landscape where a bustling mall used to be. At least eight people dead in the most powerful explosion to hit the capital, Kyiv, so far. I don't feel safe anywhere in Ukraine, this woman says. Here's a new example of why. South in the occupied city of Kherson, a peaceful resistance is disrupted by their Russian invaders. Gunfire to scatter the crowds. Flash grenades. And chasing people through the streets, what appear to be armed Russian soldiers. Vladimir Putin's troops running like terrorists. Yet Russia still denies it's targeting civilians. Ukraine's president calls those Russian soldiers slaves, shooting at free people. This is what their towns look like in Kherson. The few residents left behind finally accept some through tears that they can't stay any longer. There's simply nothing left. Russian troops don't appear to be gaining significant ground, but are wiping everything they can off the map. What's happening in Mauripol is a massive war crime, destroying everything, bombarding and killing everybody. Ukraine's military continues to boast about its fight back, but NATO fears a dangerous stalemate is fast approaching. He's already used chemical weapons in the past, and we should be careful what about to, what's about to come. British defence analysts believe the Russian ground invasion has reached a critical point where only one major offensive can be maintained at a time. The focus right now, the besieged city of Mariupol. If it falls... Moscow can send resources elsewhere. Potentially Kharkiv and the capital Kyiv, where Russian troops appear to be digging in, leaving civilians picking through the remnants of their lives. In Lviv, Ukraine, Hugh Whitfell, 7 News. And let's go to reporter Jeff Parry in Ukraine. Now, Jeff, there's some talk of a coup to overthrow Vladimir Putin. Mark, most uh, Russians get a censored view of the war in Ukraine, but there are people who actually know what's going on. Russia's military command, which has been fought to a standstill, and the oligarchs, billionaires who live lifestyles that you and I can only dream of. Sanctions have taken away their boats and their aircraft and their bank accounts, and it's thought that the loss of that luxury lifestyle might make them fertile ground for a coup against President Putin. It would be a brave move, but one they might be willing to take to extract Russia from this war. In the capital, Kyiv, they have about 24 hours remaining on uh, their curfew there, which was brought in after that missile attack levelled a shopping centre, killing eight people. This Thursday, it will be four weeks since Russia invaded Ukraine. President Zelensky is still waiting to hear from President Putin on his latest offer of peace talks. Mark? Jeff Perry, thank you.